New at 6, a AAA study sheds light on a new kind of distracted driving. 13 News Now reporter Philip Townsend explains why your phone isn't necessarily to blame for this one. Over the last decade, we've heard so much about the dangers of using your phone, texting while driving. So it's only natural for the auto industry to, you know, try to make things a little bit easier, less distracting when you get in the car. But according to a new AAA study, it's all of these buttons on the wheel and these touch screens. They're actually making things worse. <laughs> now, a spokesperson for the Alliance of Automobile Manufacturers recently said that Controlling these buttons and touch screens is supposed to be kind of comparable to adjusting the volume on the radio or even adjusting your AC, which for the most part isn't that dangerous. But let's stop for a second. So this is a 2014 model Jeep and on the wheel alone, there are 10 buttons. And for the most part, they're pretty simple. But then you come over here to the touch screen and there's all sorts of things you can sort through like my pictures. Looking at pictures, I feel like even for a passenger that seems unnecessary. And again, this is a 2014 model. According to AAA, some cars in 2017 have more than 50 multi-use buttons on the wheel and the dash. And out of 30 vehicles tested by AAA, 23 of them came in at high or very high when it came to the amount of attention required from drivers. The most distracting feature to use, researchers say, is your in-vehicle GPS. They say it took, on average, drivers 40 seconds to mess with it and plug in where they need to go. And yet, some vehicles do not allow you to use your GPS while you're driving. But out of those 30 cars studied, 12 of them did. I'm Philip Townsend for 13 News Now.